What's up guys, Doc with a Skull here. On April 25th, 2023, Apple launched a new High Yield Savings Account, or HYSA, called the Apple Card Savings Account, with an annual percentage yield, or APY, of 4.15%. This offer is exclusively available for Apple Card users in the United States, and it's offered in partnership with Goldman Sachs Bank USA, one of the world's leading investment banks. The APY of 4.15% means that if you deposit money into this account, you'll earn an additional 4.15% of your initial deposit amount in interest per year. For example, if you deposit $10,000 into an account with an APY of 4.15%, after one year, you'll earn $415 in interest. That's $10,000 times 0.0415, which is 415 bringing your account balance to $10,415. The interest earned is added to your account balance, and if you continue to earn interest on the new balance the following year, your interest earnings will continue to increase. It's important to note that APY considers compounding interest, while APR does not. So stay tuned until the end as we dive deeper into Apple's HYSA, and we'll also discuss what a high-yield savings account is, improving your financial literacy. If you're looking to diversify your income streams and take control of your financial future, this video is for you. It is important to note that this video is not intended as financial advice and is for general information and entertainment purposes only. You should always consult a qualified financial advisor instead of relying solely on information from a content creator like me. Also, don't forget to click subscribe and give us a quick thumbs up. A high-yield savings account is a type of savings account that typically offers a higher interest rate compared to traditional savings accounts. Using the numbers from before, let's say you deposit $10,000 into a traditional savings account with a typical annual percentage yield, or APY, of 0.05%. After one year, you would earn $5 in interest. That's $10,000 times 0.0005, which is $5, bringing your account balance to $10,005. Now, let's compare that to a high-yield savings account with an APY of 2%. If you deposit the same $10,000 into a high-yield savings account with an APY of 2%, after one year, you'll earn $200 in interest. That's $10,000 times 0.02, which is $200, bringing your account balance to $10,200. As you can see, there's a significant difference between a traditional savings account and a high-yield savings account, which is why people are so excited about Apple's 4.15% APY. Generally, high-yield savings accounts are offered by online banks and other financial institutions that have lower overhead costs. As a result, they can pass on the savings to customers in the form of higher interest rates. Traditional savings accounts at brick-and-mortar banks, on the other hand, often offer very low interest rates, sometimes as low as 0.01%. In contrast, high-yield savings accounts may offer rates of 1% or more, which can significantly increase the amount of interest earned over time, especially with compound interest. If you're interested in learning about the effects of compound interest, be sure to check out my other video on things I wish I knew about finances earlier. You'll find the banner popping up on the top right. Another advantage of high-yield savings accounts is that they typically come with no fees and no minimum balance requirements. This makes them a convenient and flexible option for users to save their money. Some well-known examples of high-yield savings accounts include the online savings account from Ally Bank with 3.75% APY. The high-yield online savings account from Marcus by Goldman Sachs with 3.90% APY and the 360 performance savings account from Capital One with 3.50 APY. These accounts offer competitive interest rates, no fees, and easy access through online banking and mobile apps. Let's break down the pros and cons of high-yield savings accounts. Pros Higher interest rates High-yield savings accounts offer higher interest rates compared to traditional savings accounts, which can help users earn more money on their savings. No fees Most high-yield savings accounts come with no fees, which can save users money over time. No minimum balance requirements High-yield savings accounts often do not require a minimum balance, which makes them a convenient option for users who are just starting to save or who may not have a lot of money to deposit. Easy access Many high-yield savings accounts can be accessed online or through mobile apps, which makes them easy to manage from anywhere. FDIC-insured High-yield savings accounts are often FDIC-insured, 
which means that customer deposits are protected up to $250,000 by the full faith and credit of the United States government. Cons Interest rates are not fixed. This is an important one. The interest rates on high-yield savings accounts can fluctuate based on market conditions, so users may not be able to rely on a fixed rate of return. Limited transactions Some high-yield savings accounts have limits on the number of transactions that can be made per month, which can be a disadvantage for users who need to make frequent withdrawals or transfers. No physical branch Many high-yield savings accounts are offered by online banks, which means that users cannot visit a physical branch for assistance or support. Minimum Deposit Requirements Some high-yield accounts require a minimum deposit to open, which may be a disadvantage for users who do not have a lot of money to deposit. Transaction Times Some high-yield savings accounts take two to three business days for their transactions to go through. So, if you want to transfer money to a different account, it may take three days for the money to arrive. So, all in all, high-yield savings accounts can be a valuable option for users who want to earn higher interest rates on their savings without paying fees or meeting minimum balance requirements. However, users should carefully consider the pros and cons of these accounts and choose the option that best meets their financial needs. Thanks for your attention so far. Before we dig deep into the new Apple Card savings account with 4.15% APY, please click on subscribe and give us a thumbs up so we can keep creating these informative videos for you. Like the other conventional HYSA, the Apple Card Savings Account is an FDIC-insured account, which means that customer deposits are protected up to $250,000 by the full faith and credit of the United States government. The account is available with no fees, no minimum balance requirements or penalties for early withdrawals. Furthermore, it's accessible through the Wallet app on an iPhone and users can transfer money to and from the account at any time. One cool feature of Apple Card Savings Account is a savings tracker in the Wallet app, which shows users how much they've saved and how much interest they've earned. Just like the other products that Apple creates, the app's interface is user-friendly and allows users to set up automatic transfers to make saving even easier. Apple Card users can open the savings account if they have a valid Apple Card, are at least 18 years old, and have a valid U.S. mailing address. Customers can also apply for an Apple Card through the Wallet app and start using the savings account immediately after approval. Not surprisingly, Apple's entry into the high-yield savings account space is likely to shake up the market as it provides a competitive alternative to traditional banks. It also builds on Apple's strategy of offering financial services that are easy to use, accessible, and integrated into its products. To review Apple's previous financial services, they included the Apple Card, which it launched in 2019 in partnership with Goldman Sachs. The Apple Card is a credit card that offers cashback rewards on purchases and is integrated into the Wallet app on an iPhone. Users can also manage their account through the app and take advantage of features like daily cash rewards of up to 3% on purchases and no annual fees. Apple also launched Apple Pay Later in 2022, a buy now, pay later service that allows users to make purchases and pay over time with interest-free installments. Apple Pay Later is integrated into the Wallet app and can be used at participating merchants that accept Apple Pay. The launch of the Apple Card Savings Account comes at a time when traditional banks are offering record low interest rates on savings accounts due to the Federal Reserve's policy of keeping interest rates low to spur economic growth. As a result, Many savers are turning to high-yield savings accounts offered by online banks to earn higher interest rates on their deposits. Apple's partnership with Goldman Sachs Bank USA is also notable, as it indicates a growing trend of tech companies partnering with traditional banks to offer financial services. This partnership allows Apple to leverage Goldman Sachs' expertise in banking and financial services while providing its customers with a user-friendly and innovative way to save money. However, it's worth noting that just like other high-yield savings accounts, the Apple Card Savings Account's interest rate is subject to change, as it's tied to the Federal Reserve's benchmark interest rate. In the past, high-yield savings account rates have dropped rapidly when the Federal Reserve lowers its benchmark interest rate. The Apple Card Savings Account's 4.15% APY is higher than the average interest rate offered by traditional banks, which currently stands at around 0.05%. However, it's worth comparing the account with other high-yield savings accounts in the market, such as those offered by Ally Bank, Marcus by Goldman Sachs, and Capital One.
Despite these alternatives, the Apple Card Savings Account's competitive APY and easy integration into the Wallet app make it a compelling option for Apple Card users. So, let's break down the pros and cons of Apple Card Savings Account. Pros High Interest Rate With an annual percentage rate or APY of 4.15%, the Apple Card Savings Account offers a higher interest rate compared to many traditional banks and other high-yield savings accounts. No Fees The account is available with no fees, minimum balance requirements, or penalties for early withdrawals, making it a convenient and flexible option for users to save their money. Easy Access The account is accessible through the Wallet app on an iPhone, and users can transfer money to and from the account at any time. The app's user-friendly interface allows users to set up automatic transfers to make saving even easier. FDIC Insured The account is FDIC insured, which means that customer deposits are protected up to $250,000 by the full faith and credit of the United States government. Integration with Apple Card The account is integrated into the Apple Card, allowing users to manage their finances from a single app. This integration makes it easier for users to track their savings and credit card spending in one place. Cons Limited Eligibility The Apple Card Savings Account is only available to Apple Card users in the United States who are at least 18 years old and have a valid U.S. mailing address. This limited eligibility may be a barrier for some users. Interest Rate Is Not Fixed the account's interest rate is tied to the Federal Reserve's benchmark interest rate and is subject to change. If the benchmark interest rate drops, the account's interest rate may drop as well. No physical branch The account is accessible only through the Wallet app, which means that users cannot visit a physical branch for assistance or support. No joint accounts The account does not offer joint accounts, which may be a disadvantage for couples or families who want to save money together. No cash deposits The account does not allow cash deposits, which means that users must transfer money from another account or make electronic deposits. One huge and important consideration for users who are thinking about opening an Apple Card savings account is the potential impact on their credit score. According to CBS News, opening a savings account usually does not affect a user's credit score but applying for the Apple Card itself can result in a hard inquiry on the user's credit report. Multiple hard inquiries can lower a user's credit score, so users should carefully consider the potential benefits of the account against the impact on their credit score. As stated in the fine print on their website, a hard credit inquiry is required to open an account because Goldman Sachs uses this information to help determine eligibility for the account and to establish creditworthiness. This process helps ensure that both parties, the customer and the bank, understand the credit risk involved and can make informed decisions about opening the account. It's important to note that a hard credit inquiry can temporarily lower your credit score, but the impact is usually small and short-lived. Again, it is curious why this distinction exists, but overall, the Apple Card Savings Account offers a convenient and competitive way for Apple Card users to save money and to earn interest. Why is Apple expanding into the financial market instead of focusing solely on its popular technology products? It's all part of Apple's broader strategy to diversify its revenue streams beyond hardware products. In recent years, the company has invested heavily in its services division, which includes offerings like Apple Music, Apple TV+, and Apple Arcade. The investment has paid off, with the services division generating over $53 billion in revenue in 2022 up from $50 billion in 2021. Apple has set a goal to double its services revenue by 2025, and financial services like the Apple Card and Apple Card Savings Account are expected to play a significant role in achieving that goal. However, entering the financial services industry comes with its own set of challenges. When Apple introduced the Apple Card, it faced criticism over allegations of gender bias in its credit decision-making algorithm. The controversy prompted investigations by New York regulators, and Apple was forced to adjust its credit scoring algorithm and offer credit limit increases to affected users. With the introduction of the Apple Card Savings Account requiring a hard credit pull, it's possible that similar controversies may arise. As Apple expands its financial services offerings, it will need to address these types of issues and ensure that its services are fair, 
transparent, and accessible to all users. So, are you interested in taking advantage of the Apple Card Savings Account's high yield of 4.15% APY? Let me know in the comments below. In conclusion, the Apple Card Savings Account is a welcome addition to Apple's suite of financial services offerings. The account's competitive interest rate, no fees, and easy integration into the Wallet app make it a compelling option for Apple Card users who want to save money and earn interest on their savings. However, users should keep in mind that the interest rate is subject to change, and there are other high-yield savings account options in the market to consider. There you have it. High Yield Savings Account Basics and the Summary of Apple Card Savings Account. Don't forget to check out our other videos on the channel, and I've also posted some links for more information in the description. As always, if you're enjoying our channel and videos, click subscribe, like, and comment on any other topics you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.